Welcome back to Photoshop Basics on PSD Touch Plus. I'm Martin Perhiniak, and today we are going to learn more about the sidecar application of Photoshop called Bridge. I switch to this application now. As you can see, it's just a simple file management application, but it offers lots of useful options to work with images in Photoshop. First I'll show you how to open a file quickly. You just simply need to select the file and then double click on it. But before opening a file you will also see a preview here on the right and you can even click on this preview to see a full size preview inside this thing called the loop tool. This is a great tool to see the sharpness or the detail level of a photograph before actually opening it in Photoshop. If you want to open more than one images together, you can select them all in a row. By holding down the shift key, you can select more than one images and you will always see the images, the selected images in the preview panel. So after selecting them, you just simply need to double click on one of these images here in the content area. But there is also a very useful option in Bridge. If you, you want to load these images into one Photoshop document as layers, you can go to the tools menu, choose Photoshop and choose load files into Photoshop layers. It will open all these images and load them as layers into Photoshop. If I turn on and off these layers, you can see we have all our images in one Photoshop document. And Bridge even named the layers after the file names. Now that we are here in Photoshop, I just want to show you that in CS5 we also have this new feature called Mini Bridge, where you can also use the advantages of bridge but directly inside Photoshop. If you drag and drop an image from mini bridge into Photoshop it will automatically put it in the document and even it creates a smart object from it. We will talk more about smart objects in another episode but it's good to know that from mini bridge you can quickly create these special layer elements in Photoshop. I switch back now to Bridge. You can always click on this icon here on the top called Launch Bridge and that will always take you back to Bridge. And I would like to show you that you can even use Bridge for comparing two image files. So I now select these two photographs of the squirrel and I click on Film Strip here on the top to see these two images side by side. Then I press tab on my keyboard which will hide the two panels on the left and the right and I can move the content part a little bit down so I see more of these two images and I can decide which one is the better photograph by comparing them to each other and I'm looking for the sharper image. So I click here on the eye of the squirrel on the left, then I click on this image on the right and I have the loop tools on both of the images and I can even move these loop tools around by holding down the command or control key, I can move them together. This is a great way to compare two photographs and as you can see the photograph on the right has more details now I would like to make sure that I remember that this is the sharper image so I will now add a star rating to it. So I select that image which, is, which was on the right and then here at the bottom of the image I can add star ratings to it or using the keyboard shortcut command or control 5 that will add 5 stars to it. You can also add 1, 2, 3, 4 if you want to use less stars or you can also use the 6, 7, 8 and 9 keyboard shortcuts also to get together with the control or command key if you want to add color labels to images. This is a great way to make notes on images and to find them easily next time when you come into the same folder. So I now switch back to essentials view and you see that it is really easy to find this image which we wanted to use for our design. 
filtering is really easy in Bridge. You can do that here on the left with the filter panel. As you can see, I have keywords applied to these images also created in Bridge. We have a keywords panel where you can create keywords and add them to images. And then later you can use your, those keywords to filter the images in a folder. If I get rid of this filter, called episode 2 bridge, I will see all the images prepared for this video tutorial series. But instead of creating folders, I always use keywords and filtering to only show those images that I need. An image file can have as many keywords as you want, so it's really easy to reuse an image in a next selection. So for example, in the next episode, we are going to talk about pixels. And as you can see, I have two images with which I have also selected for the second and the first tutorial. I can select more than one filters to add them to my view. And I can also filter images by the labels or ratings. So if I want to see the image that we labeled, I can just simply click on that and then I will only see that image from the folder. Or I can even use file types if I want to search for a specific file, in this case a camera raw file for example, I can quickly select that option. And what I also really like, I can also use filtering for the orientation of files. Let's say I would like to see all my portrait images, then I can just simply select portrait in the filter area. To add the keyword to an image, you just simply need to select that image. Come here on the right, choose the keywords panel, and then click on this little plus icon, which will create the new keyword. I can call this image mountaineer and then I just need to click on this little checkbox to make sure that I add this keyword to this image. As you can see now for the selected image I have three assigned keywords. I have episode 14 quick selection, episode 15 pen tool and I also have this keyword called mountaineer. Now next time if I'm looking for this particular image I can come to the keywords filtering options and here I will see mountaineer and I can simply select that filter to show only that image in my content area. It's good to know that you can resize the size of the thumbnails in Bridge by this little scroll at the bottom or by using keyboard shortcuts. On Mac, it's Control and Option key together and scroll up and down. On PC, it's just simply Control, scroll up and down. And after this quick preview of Bridge, I hope you will find this application useful and try to get used to working with Bridge and Photoshop together because it helps you a lot in your everyday work and saves a lot of time, which is very important. In the next video, I will talk more about pixels, image size and resolution, some very important theory for working with digital images. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.